and so so this is a sage method for today i'll just use it to plug in numbers um it's it, uh, um, it's gonna be something more substantial that can be quite powerful in uh, doing certain things that can be time consuming um time consuming when you're solving system of equations for today all i'm using going to be using it for is as a glorified calculator <laughs> which is fine <laughs> so uh, so let me start with this question and I will do the next question. Those are the two questions that I haven't done before. So let me get started with this. So uh, it says uh, Andrea, uh, Sprinter, uh, starts a race. So let me just uh, write down some of the things that uh, I've been given. So I've been given the mass of the person and I've been given uh, acceleration, okay, of the person. Okay, so I'm imagining this kind of scenario. I like to do the kind of draw out the situation to make sure I understand the information that's been given in the question. Um, it, sometimes while I'm trying to sketch it, things out and visualize it, I realize that there's something that I haven't been given or I need to figure out. So this is what I'm starting. I have someone of some mass whose acceleration I've been given. Okay, what is the question? Uh, what is the net external force on her? Ah, I see. So uh, you are going to see other examples of more detailed, uh, detailed problem solving where you have to draw free body diagrams. For this question, it, I think it's simple enough that if you skip this step, you'll be fine. But let me just be thorough anyway. <laughs> if I'm drawing free body diagram of Andrea, um, I start thinking through the kind of the forces that's going to be on on her so i like to start with the gravity always because almost always you will have gravity and as you draw your free body diagram you think through did i draw all the forces does my free body does the picture that's painted by my free body diagram uh, match with the kind of intuition I have for this setup. So for this setup, uh, the intuition I have is that she should have some kind of forward acceleration. And this force doesn't match that at all. Just the downward force. Okay, I'm not going to get forward acceleration from that. That's where I think through, ah, but she's touching the ground here. So there's going to be some kind of contact force from the ground that we call normal force. So. Uh, seeing these two forces, okay, I can imagine them balancing out so that there's no net external vertical force. Then uh, what I have to think through is, hmm, there must be some forward force on her. Um, that's part of what enters as uh, her act, uh, act of running. So I'm just going to say some external forward force. Um, what it is going to be is it's an interaction between her foot and the ground. She pushes the ground back and the ground pushes the foot forward. That's, um, so it's uh, this force that's going to be associated with that acceleration. And uh, we can see that, oh yeah, to, that this will also be my net force. So. For your net force, um, it's a relatively simple application of Newton's second law. You say mass times acceleration gives you the net force. So let me type those in. Mass, 52 kilograms times the acceleration, 4.0 meter per second squared. And it might be worth double checking that these are in basic SI unit so that this number you get is also in basic SI unit of Newtons, uh, which is the unit they want the answer in, 208 Newtons. Relatively simple, so <laughs> I haven't done it before. Let me go to the next question. Um, so it says, okay, I think it's fine. So it says, a cleaner pushes, uh, all right, uh, there's things interacting. So let me just start by sketching. So I got some laundry cart that's being pushed by someone so there's going to be some external force. It looks like I'm given that external force of 54 newtons. And I'm also told what the mass of the cart is, 4 kilogram. Um, and so, and oh yeah, so that's the net total sum of the external forces. Calculate the magnitude of his cart acceleration. 
Okay, so since we are being told what the external for net external force is, we can just go straight to Newton's second law. So Newton's second law says that acceleration is related to net force this way. It's given by net force. Uh, these are vector quantities in cases where that matters, <laughs> divided by mass. So here we are given the net force, 54 newtons, and the mass, 4 kilogram. So the acceleration in the same direction as force, net force, should be, oh, let's see, can I do this in my head? So 54 divided by 4 would be uh, 13.5. <laughs> okay, if I get it wrong, I'll just use the calculator. <laughs> oh, good. All right. Um, yeah, so uh, by the way, as you see me do um, Newton's law problem solving, you're going to see me write Newton's second law in this. So this is for Newton's second law, which we use a lot, more so than first and third law um, kind of explicitly. You're going to see me write it in this form and in this form. Net force is equal to mass times acceleration. And in terms of mathematical validity, they're both correct. You know, when you're dealing with equalities, equalities don't care about direction. They are algebraically equivalent. You will see especially more recent materials where I prefer to use this form not for the reason of mathematical validity, but more for a clear indication of causality. So in terms of causality, what causes what, it's uh, unambiguously the net force causing the acceleration. And it's never the other way around. Acceleration does not cause the net force. And sometimes people have this kind of intuition from earlier, because there are you know, easier uh, force questions where you can work with this kind of intuition and sometimes when people talk about net acceleration that's really where that comes from and I want to kind of ask you to, to try to train yourself away from that always think of it's the net force that causes acceleration and if you have to add um, e effect or influence from different sources together then start with the forces once you get the net force then try to uh, connect that to acceleration.